Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder Channel and I've come down to Pipe Life's Training Centre just outside Cork in Ireland to talk to Chris Wervold about Easy Lay Pipe basically and what you can do with it, how you can join it and all sorts of things. It is incredibly flexible pipe, a big difference to the old PEX pipe that I used to struggle with. I think getting that kind of radius on it is really quite impressive really isn't yeah, it? Yeah and this is where it really comes into its own obviously you can you can make a bend as tight as that without any joints in it at all. Yeah. Um, I always worry about that point where it finally kinks and oh I've gone too far but this is this is actually quite easy to do I've got to say. Yeah yeah H hence why we call it easy there Roger. Is that here? Is that a reason? <laughs> so, yeah. I'll tell you what up here for thinking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway you're going to show us a few things. Uh, can I just ask you first of all about the wrapping. Have you got a yeah. coil of it we can have a look at? Now, when it arrives, beautifully wrapped, and I get my Stanley knife out and I go, yep. and rip straight through it, but no, you've got to take it off carefully, haven't you? So what, what would be the correct way of unwrapping that pipe and using it? Yeah, well, once you, once you cut the outer wrap here, yeah. you can take the spiral off, and then yeah. you get down to an inner cellophane wrap, yeah. and from the cellophane wrap, the easiest thing is to just take the, take the pipe from the middle of the coil yeah. and just pull it out nice yeah. and easily. And obviously T take it as you need it. Yeah, because I know you do coils up to the sort of 100 meters standard, don't yeah. even longer than that. Yeah. And, and if I'm doing underfloor heating, I, you know, without one of those pipe unwinders, yeah. sometimes I have um, got in a real mess with it, you know, when it swaps over. And I've got to yeah. stretch the whole thing out up the garden, you know, to try and get rid of it. So you leave that, always leave it outer. Yeah, leave the outer cellophane on yeah. that's underneath the blue wrap. Yeah. Obviously this is just to protect it while it's in transport and obviously on, on site when it's getting carried around. I've noticed um, you don't put the little bandings around, do you? Like some people do. No, we use the cellophane on the, on the easy lay. Yeah. Um, I just find it, you know, from the installer point of view, they can take the pipe from the middle and pull it out as, as and when they need it. Yeah. I mean, the big, the big difference with this versus some is we don't bag the coils. Oh, we, no, just no, find a, we just find the plumbers love it that they can just fling it over the shoulder like good that and point. carry it around. Very good point, especially when you're climbing up a ladder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, you know, basically when I'm carrying it, because I'm always carrying a drill, some, some tools, a yeah. bag, so a couple of rolls yeah. and then yeah. the tool bags in. Yeah, great, yeah. great idea. Yeah, makes Better it easier handling. stacking yeah. as well. They're not slipping, yeah. slipping and sliding all over the place. It's a bit hard to get my tube carrier, by the way, on my roof. <laughs> <laughs> but you do Apologies straight lengths as well, don't you? We do do straight lengths. In three yeah. and six metres, I believe. Three and six metres, yeah. 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 I'm not um, sure many merchants are going to stock that six metre length, are they? Um, pr probably not in stock, um, but obviously I'm sure if there's a requirement, yeah. someone will get it in. But yeah. for, for some projects, six metres just... Yeah. Uh, I like a few rigid, rigid lengths every so often. I'm <laughs> running along the surface running it, you know, yeah. clipping it every 500 millimetres, it looks... Uh, Looks all right. Anyway, I yes, digress, my friend. You want to show me a few tricks, really, don't you? Yeah, well, we've got... Um, what are we going to use, white or grey? Because you do both, well, don't you? We do. I've we bet, do. I've bent this one. Let's, we, let's, 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 let's ditch that. <laughs> <laughs> we, use, we, we supply white and grey in 10, 15, 22 and 28 mil. Yeah. So you've got the full range there in easy lay and obviously in PEX, which is the, the, the more rigid of the two in yeah. white only. Brilliant. So yeah, you can, I mean, we've got a selection of fittings on the table here. They're all British standard fittings. They're all fittings that any of the viewers would have used. I would, I would recognise these. I know this one would be a speed fit. JG. That's correct, yeah. And uh, this is nice with a little green indicator. Yeah, that's our own twist lock fitting there. Is it? Yeah, that's oh, our right. own twist lock oh, fitting. I, I didn't know that. I just picked yeah. it up. But yeah, that yeah. looks like a nice idea actually, did not it? Yeah, I mean, they're all they're all variations on a theme basically. Yeah, um, for sure. But yeah. they're all they're all British standard fittings, and that's the important yeah. thing here. If it's a British standard fitting, it's compatible with our British standard pipe. The only one I'm not a fan of is this because the grab ring is not demountable, is it? And I have seen people squash that grab ring and reuse it and so on. So, so that one for me is not a favourite anyway, but that's well, my personal preference. That's the colour match one gone out of the window then. So <laughs> now, now we're left with grey pipe. Your pipe is compatible with... Yeah, any, any, of, the, any, any of these British standard fittings. Yeah. So obviously, I mean, normally someone would choose a white pipe to go with, with a white, a white fitting. Right. Bring it. So, so, so go but on, in this pipe. example, it doesn't matter. It's, it's grey easy lay pipe or white easy lay pipe. Yeah. So... Insert in, as is always the case with, always any, with, with, with any joint, yeah. And then take your pick from the fitting. Can I just so, see, if that is, is that a snug fit in that liner? Yeah, because that's a nice snug fit. Sometimes, that. when yeah. you, you try different liners. Now, is it all right to use different people's liners with different pipe or not? Yeah, any insert or any liner yeah. that's from a British standard system is compatible with is our it? pipe. Yeah. 
All right. So if 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 it, yeah. if you have a van full of inserts from somebody else, yeah. then by all means use it on our polybutylene that, pipe. That, that's actually in there. Yeah. That's good. Because yeah. Sometimes vertical pipe stuff. Yeah. I have had them drop out. But yeah. That's that's good. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's no there's no barb on that insert. That's that's, that's pipe life's nice own. Bit. That's our own easy lay insert. Yeah. And you can see it fits very snugly into the pipe. It proves you're getting the size right. Anyway. Yep. Well, that's one good thing. <laughs> So take the fitting, British standard yeah. fitting, happens to be the John Guest Airwheel that I've picked up first. Obviously it's ready to receive, receive the pipe. Joint's made with the speed yeah. fit and you have to twist it to lock it. That's the joint made. Yeah. To illustrate, on the other end of the pipe, insert in the pipe, we could take the polyplum fitting on this occasion. You can hear that's pushed on there, you can yeah. feel it's gone on, yeah. joint made. British standard pipe, British standard fittings at each end. A way to go. Off you go. Yeah. And um, you don't put witness marks on your, your pipe, do you? You don't no, bother? No, we used to, um, but we found that obviously with the insertion depth of different fittings, ah, doesn't always correspond okay. with, the, with the markers. I think so, most of the time, if you're a plumber, you, you know. You kind of yeah, know when, it's, you, you, you when know. it's in there. If it's the yeah. first time you've ever made a joint, an insertion marker can be useful. A lot of people do it with a pencil anyway. Yeah. And there's they nothing wrong with that to make yeah. sure that you've uh, yeah. made the joint properly. Yeah. But like you say, when, you, when you're used to a particular type of fitting, you know when yeah. you've made the joint. I'll tell you what I do like, by the way, the fact that when you demount that, yeah. you're not leaving that yeah. line or that insert inside the fitting. Yeah, which can be very that's annoying. That's really annoying, because yeah. then you've got to undo the fitting, yeah. fish it out, and away you go again. So yeah. having that, yeah. like that. Now in your, your range of fitting, it's a twist lock fitting, you obviously do a stop end as well. Do we do. Yeah, because without the stop end, you're... Yep. If you do nothing else, you use those stop ends, don't you? So we can connect this up to copper. Yep. We can use compression fittings on it. Yep, compression fittings on it, a British standard compression fitting. Um, obviously now, yeah, you could you could quite easily put a piece of 50mm copper into this side of the joint. Yeah. So yeah, gone from copper and to plastic. That, is that okay for a compression fitting? Yep, fully suitable for a compression fitting. It's not like there's some, there are some inserts on the market where you have to be careful whether That's it's push right. fit or compression. Yeah. Ours are a reinforced plastic. Doesn't matter if it's compression. Yeah. Cutting it, obviously, never yeah. use a hacksaw. Never use a hacksaw. When you when you cut a plastic pipe, you want a nice, clean, square cut. Yeah. So proper pipe cutters. And, and this gives you a square cut, but as my as my cutters get on, oh, as it undo there, look at that posh. As my cutters get old and knackered. Yep. A bit like me, really. But um, as they get old and knackered, I find a little. Yep. Twist in action because it stops them going. Yep. Stop the pipe going oval. But supposing yeah. Yeah. I did use some cutters and I made that oval, yeah. what do I do then? Well, insert's the first thing you do. Obviously, you're about to make a joint, so the first thing you would do is put the put the, the liner or the insert, some people call it, into the pipe. Yeah, yeah. So, what I'm saying, my friend, sorry, can we get that insert out there? Yeah. What I'm saying is, That's my pipe, yeah? Yep. For some reason or another, that's yep. happened to it. What do I do now? You would like to make a joint? Yeah. Yeah. I well, do, the first yeah. thing I would do is be cutting slightly further down the pipe. Oh, okay, just cut it off. Yeah, yeah okay. you've got a slightly squashed end of pipe there, which yeah. is, is, is yeah, that's what I'm not asking. ideal. Yeah, yeah. I would remake the joint, remake okay. the cut, put the insert in, and then you're, right. good to, you're good to okay. make a nice, secure joint. But could I just, for example, do that would that be all right you can it's squashed is that yeah, okay you now? can i mean you can see that you haven't actually squashed the part there because you put the insert back in and it's formed it back into a circle again i've tried my best to squash it yeah okay so that's yeah. good enough that oh yeah no i can yeah. see that yeah so long as that liner goes in yeah we're back to yeah square one and the other thing we've got to be careful of is Scores. external damage to yeah. the pipe yeah yeah and that just comes down just, to just just good practice on site yeah, yeah. yeah careful being careful where you're dragging your pipe that kind of thing and that's yeah. i mean there's Treat it with love and care. Exactly. Well, I love it. I know a lot of people back in the day used to knock plastic pipe and they were copper and I even know guys who were lead, you know, and uh, they thought that it was cheating to use flexi connectors on the taps, but this stuff has just made life so much easier. Yeah. In fact, I, because I used to do a lot of loft conversions, you know, and it was always the big thing. The plumber had to come in first, move all the tanks out of the way, get them up and running so the guys could joist out and so on. And uh, having this, just an absolute godsend. We just go in there, you've got everything back up and running within an hour or so, really. You know? yeah. No blow lamp. Either. No blow lamp. That's yeah. the other thing. Yeah. yeah. No, it certainly made things a lot easier. So apparently, if we believe your literature, and why wouldn't we, 
You've manufactured over a billion meters of this pipe. This is true. We have managed a lot of this pipe. Which gets around the world. Well, you do the maths. If you know how many times a billion meters is in the circumference of the world, I'm thinking, I'm guessing it'd be about 42.5 times around the world's circumference. But that's only a guess, yeah? We'll see what the viewers say. But anyway, it's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot of Certainly pipe. Certainly a lot of pipe. And you're still making it. Yep. And you've increased your production. We've increased the production as well. The demand's going up. There's more people wanting to buy our pipe. There's more plumbers that are switching to the pipe. And then once they switch, they stick with it. Yeah, yeah. They stick with it because they know they can trust it. It's reliable. We get the 50 year guarantee and it's a universal pipe you can carry in the back of the van that will work with any of those fittings. So, a 50 year guarantee. I don't think you can say fairer than that. There aren't many products that give you a 50 year guarantee. So I wish you success with your next billion meters. Thank you, Roger. And please come back and see us again. Thank you very much. Thank you.